Hey, we're at Goodwill and there's nobody here. There's one other car in the parking lot, which is I went up and checked the door to make sure they were even open. Cause normally there's the parking lot so full you can't find any place to park, but there's one other car and then there's an employee car. And they've been open for 15 minutes and there's nobody here. How weird. So we found some shoes, these for the wife to keep. Oh, probably not worth flipping. Um, but it's weird, there's only one person in here. So if there's anything good, we got first picks, I guess. That is super 90s. If you're not 30 years old, I bet you don't even know why that lamp has it on there. That's a uh, CD storage desk lamp. That's crazy, 2004? Hmm, it's still neat. I don't think it's worth anything occurring to me as I'm wandering around and I mean stuff can still be cheap like if you had a booth this would be a really good pickup for 310 it's probably not the kind of thing that's gonna sell on eBay but uh, there's stuff is getting so expensive so crazy priced that like I bet people are stopped showing up which didn't break my heart any dollar and 84 cents for a stoneware bowl it's not Mark to this one is Macomb Stoneware for a dollar and eighty-four cents. Pretty generic bowl. This one a Macomb? Nope, it's not right. There it is, the king of small appliances. My first ever love for the flip. The poppery. This is a 1500 watt unit. Yeah, 1500 watt unit. Well worth the pickup at 440. So this is interesting because it's only four dollars and or it's a five dollars, four dollars and ninety five cents. And the instructions, a couple of pieces, or maybe it's just a sticker pack. And the entire car, including the minifig, is in there. So let's look up, this number is what you always want to look up. You ever see on cloud brand clothing? I never have, let's comp it. Dad, dad, dad. Dad, dad, dad. You were saying it, weren't you? So I passed on this once, it's BBD, which is a old brand made in the US, single stitch. But today, pink's 50% off. So, just a plain pocket tee, but at uh, $1.75, it's worth picking up. If you know, you know, the best flip I ever had was a Levi's with a big E. Look at that vintage looking tag. These are for sure reissues. These are not big E Levi's. Just so we're all aware. They're waterless. They might be worth a pickup at $7.88, but these silky tags are not going to be found on a real big E pair of Levi's. So those are nice, common Levi's, but that big E, a regular E Levi, doesn't have that uh, capital E. It just has the uh, lowercase E. You can, in fact, sometimes catch them sleeping. Uh, $11 is a real good price for this. And assuming that it turns on, I'll make a bunch of money and it's well over 100% sell through, right? For the record, if it doesn't turn on, I'm gonna not get hurt too bad. <laughs> so this Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer is part of the Twilight series. And if you go down and over, New Moon is in the Twilight series. So if you found them all at a dollar a piece, including the Midnight Sun, which is, oh, and there's Eclipse. And so I need Breaking Dawn and the original Twilight. And there are full three of the five here. Um, what I know I don't have is an original Twilight at home. I probably have the rest. Um, if I can find an original Twilight hardcover, then we'll probably end up picking those up. So I decided to do a, start checking through kids' clothes. 262, new with tag, Pokemon, and then this single stitch, uh, National Hot Rod Association. Van, really cool single stitch shirt. Also 262. Jeez, I wish I had. I wish I was Jenny. 2009 Super Mario Galaxy. That's been here a while. 
three, four dollars. So the lady that organizes books came out and all she had on her books cart was this. So the battery died while I was in Goodwill. And what I was about to say was that these, the woman had these four items on her cart. And obviously the video games they know are worth something. 310 is probably as much as I would have paid for this one, but The Lost World, Home Alone 2, and Rockadoodle. They, she's like, somebody, she said to me, somebody told me that we're dumb for throwing away VHS tapes, that people will buy them and we ought to start keeping them to let people buy. And so I went through with her. I was like, don't do, don't do Disney VHS. Like, don't think that that's what people are talking about. Horror VHS and children's programs uh, are probably your best bet, but uh, not Disney. And, you know, it's like any of the stuff in Goodwill. It's most of it's junk, but some of it's really good. So other than that, I just got a big bag of blank cassettes for $11. And uh, uh, I don't think we got anything else. And I don't know if $11 was great for that, but it's like probably $20. Uh, so somewhere in the $0.50 cents a piece range. And they look like they were probably good ones. So yeah, these three. Those would definitely not be something you'd want to throw away. And this is the bag. I mean, it has the Sound of Music and the King and I. But mostly it's blanks um, that should sell for something. I paid $11 on the hopes that some, like, low bias or that kind of thing can be really good. I just have to look into these. How cool is the cover on this? How cool is that? For those of you who remember when cassette buying blank cassette tapes to record tapes off the songs off the radio was a thing um yeah i think that's gonna do it for now i've got a bunch of stuff to ship and we'll try to get to that on the next video thanks for watching liking commenting subscribing following clicking the bell going down into the description and seeing my links for ebay whatnot mercari and my other channel checking all of that stuff out you guys rock we'll see you on the next one thanks guys